For nearly half a century it has been drifting outward, a fragile relic from another age, slipping past the outer planets, beyond the last traces of the solar wind, into a realm no one on Earth had ever directly touched. Voyager 2, built when digital watches were still novelties and personal computers were fantasies, was never designed to last this long. And yet, it continues to send whispers from the threshold of interstellar space. Recently, those whispers carried something startling, measurements so sharp and so strange that they forced scientists to rethink the very structure of our solar system's boundary. When Voyager 2 launched in 1977, its expected lifespan was just a handful of years. Few believed it would survive the radiation belts of Jupiter, the freezing shadows of Neptune, and the vast emptiness beyond. But in 2018, it reached a milestone that transformed its journey from a triumph of engineering into something far stranger. Instead of recording the smooth, gradual decline of the solar wind at the solar system's edge, its sensors registered an abrupt transformation. Plasma density spiked, magnetic fields locked into place, and galactic radiation surged in a sudden jump of nearly 70%. It was not a slow fade but a sharp threshold, as though the probe had stepped through an unseen doorway into a different kind of space. The heliosphere, once imagined as a soft and fading bubble of solar wind, was revealed to be more like a living shell. Voyager's data showed that this protective cocoon expands and contracts with the sun's activity, swelling during its energetic phases, then drawing inward when the sun quiets. The crossing distances of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 differed by several astronomical units, proof that the boundary shifts and breathes. Far from being an immutable shield, it is fragile and dynamic, raising questions about just how well Earth is protected from the storm of radiation that fills our galaxy. The real surprise, however, lay in the magnetic fields. Scientists expected turbulence, a chaotic clash between the Sun's magnetism and the interstellar environment. Instead, the two fields were eerily aligned, as though they had been tuned to fit together. The chances of such precision occurring by accident seemed slim, and the implications were unsettling. Was this an artifact of cosmic geometry, or could this region of space be structured in a way we do not yet understand? Some even speculated, quietly, in scientific backrooms, that the alignment looked deliberate, a configuration shaped to serve a hidden function. Then came the silence. In 2019, Voyager 2 abruptly stopped transmitting. More than 11 billion miles away, it simply went dark. For hours, NASA engineers could do nothing but watch. And then, just as mysteriously, it returned. The official explanation blamed aging circuitry. But buried in the raw telemetry were electromagnetic spikes that didn't match familiar cosmic phenomena. Perhaps it was an unusual burst of radiation. Or perhaps it was something triggered by crossing that strange frontier. Soon after, Voyager began detecting something else. Faint, low-frequency oscillations in the surrounding plasma. Unlike the chaotic turbulence expected in deep space, these pulses repeated with uncanny regularity, precisely every 13.2 hours. They persisted for weeks, then months, unchanging. They were not solar in origin, and they bore no resemblance to known cosmic radio signals. Voyager's mission was never supposed to last this long, let alone uncover puzzles that feel more like riddles. Its transmissions now raise the possibility that the edge of our solar system is not merely a boundary, but an interface, something structured, active, and possibly intentional. Whether it is a natural phenomenon we have yet to understand, or something far stranger, the probe's last messages suggest that the space beyond our star is neither silent nor empty. And then something even stranger began to unfold. Voyager's instruments weren't breaking, but its communication lag subtly shifted, as if the very medium of space between Earth and the probe was bending. The effect was so delicate that it might have gone unnoticed, but when the data was converted into sound, it carried the rhythm of a heartbeat. Not mechanical, not artificial, but organic. It was as though Voyager hadn't simply crossed the edge of the solar system, it had entered something alive. The plasma wave instrument soon added to the mystery. Sudden bursts of energy flared and fell silent again, seemingly chaotic. But when charted across time, the chaos resolved into a spiraling pattern. 
Each increase followed precise intervals, echoing the Fibonacci sequence, the mathematical signature that governs seashells, hurricanes, even galaxies. Random turbulence shouldn't obey such symmetry. To some, it hinted at an embedded intelligence, not noise but communication. A new phrase began circulating quietly within NASA. The response field. Something was reacting to Voyager, and the deeper it drifted, the stronger the response became. The magnetometer added another impossible detail. Instead of leveling out, its readings flipped. The field didn't diminish, it reversed, as if space itself had folded and Voyager was inside a region where time and energy curved in unnatural ways. No mass could explain it. Theories emerged that the heliopause might not be a barrier at all, but a kind of one-way filter. Transparent from the inside, opaque from the outside. That would mean the solar system is shielded, perhaps deliberately, and Voyager had just pierced a window. If so, something beyond it might have noticed. Soon after, the probe began transmitting data that shouldn't exist. Logs appeared with timestamps from years earlier, encoded in formats no one had programmed into its 1970s memory banks. Long-dead subsystems flickered back to life. Gyroscopes aligned with constellations the craft had already passed. Even more unsettling, Voyager sent fragmented images, not of its own instruments, but of blurred starfields and shifting shadows, as though it were replaying memories that belonged to the void itself. Could space archive its own history? Or was Voyager being used as a lens, forced to transmit what it was shown? The mission was never designed for meaning. Voyager was a messenger, a silent traveler meant only to drift outward until it faded into cold silence. Yet what it uncovered was not silence but refusal. Refusal of randomness. Refusal of emptiness. Refusal of the belief that the cosmos ignores us. What it revealed was a breathing boundary, a pulsing rhythm, a spiral in the dark. Evidence of order where none should exist. That leaves us with something unsettling. Voyager isn't just a spacecraft anymore. It has become a mirror, reflecting back the arrogance that led us to assume the stars were indifferent. Its transmissions feel less like measurements and more like recognition, as though something has been waiting for us to look closely enough to see the pattern. We didn't just launch a probe, we knocked on a door. And now, something has begun to answer. The question isn't whether we've been noticed, but why now? Was Voyager simply recording what was already there? Or was it being guided, shown a truth too structured to ignore? Perhaps the void isn't empty at all. Perhaps it has been watching us all along.